You'll see today or tomorrow. I don't know so if I'm gonna have any time tonight. The winner is. Is it Josie Allen? Oh, look at that. Lamar no. has Lamar has Fazoli. Yeah. That's John, really John underrated. Oh, wow. Dude, and for real, I oh, gave Lamar weird. I gave Lamar the Dunkin' Donuts. Creativity is one big word that comes to my mind when you're a comm student. You got to be creative to make videos. And another thing, when you're a comm student, it's kind of a bond that maybe only we understand, but it's there and it's special. It does remind me of a uh, team atmosphere, and I'm a soccer player, so it reminds me of my of playing soccer here and uh, the locker room environment we have there, the banter, the jokes. It's very similar to that. Everyone gets along, and everyone's got each other's back. Being a comm student is a privilege. It's an awesome privilege. But this semester, we've kind of hung out more. And why that is, it's kind of a mystery, but it just kind of happened. What are you doing looking at my new locker, number four, proud owner, empty? The vlog started, it's kind of a three-part start. That rhymed, by the way. Uh, Shane started, no, okay. John started the vlogs, I started the top five game, and Shane started the grading. So we're the three founding fathers of something that has taken off hugely this past semester. But the funny thing is that I actually used to have this little camera that I used to like go around in my car, but I would never post anything on YouTube because I was too embarrassed I didn't have the balls to do it. Look at that. So, Jessica beat me today. Um, when I make fun of people, it kind of gives me another motivation to actually go out and take it to another level. So therefore, this little joke turned into this huge thing now that I do every single day. I mean, it's kind of fun to take the camera and just go film random stuff or get John to like run around and yell random things or get people's reactions. And, I don't know, it's been a great way for everybody to kind of come out of their shell and kind of get to know people more. I don't know what to put for number five. But start recording myself. Uh, try to get reactions out of everybody else with it. Um, and yeah, just, uh, I just, I just uh, came to it naturally. Starting a new clip. Start of a new clip. Start of a new clip. Like Portman, start of a new clip. And that was that was because John told me, Dave, stop making the clip so long. Start a new clip. So I started a new clip. Top five list started because me and Robbie, big sports fans, and we started doing top five quarterbacks, wide receivers. And it was really just a silly idea one day, and then we did it again a couple weeks later, and then the next day, then all of a sudden it blossomed into this huge contest that we now have and we're graded from the GPA. To be honest, I take that GPA more serious than my school GPA. And it just really snowballed from there. Everyone does it. There's some days where we'll get 15 people that make a list on the board. I like the idea, I like the idea of sleep, mainly because I just feel like sleep's one of those awesome things that go all around. We were all arguing about who had the best and we could never settle it, so eventually I thought, well, why not just give this letter grade and figure out who is the best. Since I was already starting to vlog, then we were, um, I decided to GoPro it and then incorporate the grading into the vlog. Sometimes it's a student, sometimes it's a teacher. Uh, some graders are terrible, some are really good, uh, but it's just random. And after we get done grading, we come up with the next topic for the next day. That one, that one requires a lot of time. I think we got tomorrow's cartoons. It was a Monday morning, and there was a sign on the on the whiteboard, and uh, I came in and uh, I saw it. I kind of figured it was going to happen eventually, but Robbie was heartbroken about it. He was very upset. My heart was broken right away. Just absolutely devastated. Just. He was very upset. It was pretty sad. It was a sad day. It really was. Luckily, the uh, savior of the audio, John Bria, stepped forth and decided to buy a new mini whiteboard. We didn't want Top 5 to end. It was too fun and we had all this momentum going, so we didn't really want to end it. And uh, we Comstons, we prevail against tough times, which we have time and time again when everybody else told us not to. And uh, Robbie Risman was kind enough to donate markers. And, uh, and it was born again. And from that day forward, we knew that Top 5 wouldn't end. 
For instance, the other day we had to go over to the business building and we had to uh, have them grade it in there, so it's really nice. 30 years from now, I'm going to look back and I'm going to see where I was in my life and what I was doing, and I don't think you can get that anywhere else. We're just documenting our life in one video. And each day, if you keep watching the vlogs consecutively, you will know a little bit more about a person's personality while watching the vlogs. Five years from now, ten years from now, you can look back at those and remember things. Like, if you didn't have those vlogs, it would be just, you, most of it you wouldn't even remember. And now you can go back and you can watch them. Like you're actually there. So outgoing, friendly. I think that's yeah, a big key to being a communication be student because you've got to be outgoing, you've got to be friendly, you've got to be open, and uh, just willing to talk to anyone. Hey!